the solution. The shuttle Discovery is back on the launching pad tonight after a delay of nearly two weeks. The problem, a bunch of ornery woodpeckers had taken a liking to pecking holes in the external fuel tank. After the problem hit the airwaves, suggestions on scaring the birds away came from coast to coast. But as Care 11's Eric Olson shows us, a balloon sold by a company right here in the metro was the cream that rose to the top. Mike Taporton's been blowing up balloons for a living for nine years. The family business is something called the Predator Eyes Balloon. Birds see it, turn chicken, and fly off. These eyes are the eyes of a predator bird. And all pest birds in nature have eyes that they are afraid of, and they relate back to uh, inherent fear. So when Jack saw the space shuttle Discovery with all those woodpecker holes punched in its fuel tank, he thought NASA ought to know about this product, one he first discovered being used on farm fields in Japan 12 years ago. So he sent NASA a couple of them. He knew they'd keep the birds at bay because his balloons have aluminum eyes that move. If this was stationary like this, it probably wouldn't scare the birds because it would merely be a distraction. But because there's movement to this with the aluminum marli eyes, entails, the uh, pest bird thinks it's a uh, predator has come into its area, so it's, it's afraid of it. And what do you know? Jack got a call from NASA, and today the shuttle was sent to the pad with Jack's frightening little guys flying proudly, keeping watch. The call from uh, Cape Canaveral was it was a wonderful experience for me and my family because uh, several things, the Discovery uh, shuttle can now take place, plus Think of the millions of dollars that we've saved uh, the taxpayers. Orders for predator eyes trickle in on an average day, but Jack's hoping for inflating sales now. And thanks to the shuttle, the sky's the limit. Eric Olson, Care 11 News. NASA says the balloons were successful at keeping the birds away during the shuttle's four-mile trip to the launch pad. Not a bad investment, considering they only cost about $10 each. <clears throat> we have one right here. Looks kind of like Tweety Bird to me, There's you know? That scary thing. Well, it's the aluminum apparently in the eyes. If you get kind of see it, when you sparkle. get close, right? Right now, all the woodpeckers in the we audience could, are going, oh. We could use this at a party. Oh, wouldn't that go? be great? There you go. Good conversation piece. <laughs> well,